Hey, Smokesack fans, Johnny C. here in New Jersey with my uh, Onan Bug Room security guard, Bones, okay? He's not going to really be doing too much, but anyway, what are we going to do? What do we have here? We got the 15.0 JC. We did a video on it last week on his first startup with a load uh, test, okay? I think we got about 10.5, 11 kilowatts out of it. But I was limited for a couple of reasons. One, I only had two tanks. One tank was basically empty. The other tank was okay. But in order to get a full load out of this guy right here, I'm going to need at least two to three tanks. So what did I do today? I got three new tanks, okay? It's hooked up to a manifold that I fabricated years ago uh, when I had my first JC, which is known to work. You see that red tube down there at the bottom, okay? It goes all the way around to the demand regulator. And where does it go from there? Okay, it goes all the way up into here, and it goes to the carburetor. I do not have the safety solenoid in line. Don't need it. This is just a test. It's not hooked to the house. Uh, if I had this thing hooked to the house and I was going to use it as a true uh, standby generator, I would have that. I'm saying that because I'm sure I'll get some comments if I don't. Okay, what is this all connected to? Okay, let's follow the line right here. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. we got to connect it to my box up there. Okay, now we'll get back to that in a minute. Right here is my load bank. You all seen this in my other videos. It's good for 10 kilowatts, actually about 11.5. However, it's not going to push a full load on a 15.0 JC, so I had to do something. So what I did, I'm going to be running uh, basically, let's say, like two load banks in tandem connected to this box right here. Of course, that wire goes up there. This meter's on there. We could monitor the load, uh, and that goes to the, this load bank. And I got my <laughs> old-fashioned load banks out here, which is nothing more than portable electric heaters, okay? So uh, I should be getting about 1,800 uh, watts out of this. I think that's about 1,200. So we're going to be pushing, capable of pushing close to 15 kilowatts. Okay, so that's all connected. Okay, where is this connected? Connected to that. That's connected to this. This is connected. It's connected all over the place. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit different from my other videos. Hopefully, we're going to be able to monitor the total load using this guy right here, a laptop. I have an application called Sense. Okay, I got the uh, modules built into this box right here. We're back here again. So the total load, I could either see on these meters over here, or it's going to be broadcasted, okay, out over Wi-Fi to my uh, Wi-Fi box in my house, but you can't see through the wall. And uh, then it gets pumped out of the over the Internet. All right, Internet was always live whenever we had any outages, okay, so I guess... Uh, Hopefully we won't have to worry about anything, okay, if we do have an outage. Anyway, so uh, everything's all connected. It's uh, cold out here. I didn't start anything up, so let me start opening the valves on the tanks, get the 15.0 uh, JC cranked up a bit, then we're going to play. Stand by. All right, we're back. We got the JC running. I had to make one change. I can't use the laptop. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi module or whatever, the antenna in the laptop, just can't reach the house too well. I do get some signal, but not much. But don't worry. We're going to be using uh, what we used in our other videos. We're going to be using this box right here. It's going to show us the total wattage. Right now, what I got running is uh, my secondary load bank, the old-fashioned way, with some heaters. I'm going to show you in a second. It's going to be loud because I got the uh, JC running on uh, propane. So let's go take a look what I got. All right, I got this heater right here, that and that. For a total of about, we'll step over here because it's kind of loud. For a total of about 4,000 uh, watts, okay? That's monitoring my uh, little load bank outside, okay? That's what we got rare. Okay, so what do we got? Let's see if it coincides with the uh, box on the wall. All right, we got our voltage, we got our wattage, and we got our amperage up here. One for each leg. Add everything together as far as the uh, wattage, and that will tell you. It looks like it's good. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna turn on the load bank, okay? Now, again, we got like a few thousand watts right here. We got up to about 10, 10.5 on here. All right. Right now, I'm running full bore. Full bore. He's working hard. Woo! That's what we got. Yeah, I think it's running real good. Look at that there. 64 amps on one leg, 58 on the other. 7,249 watts on one leg, 6,800 watts on the other leg. 
I just watched it, man. We ain't playing here. All right, let's shut it down. All these are on, okay? When uh, I had the master load switches on. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm looking at the light blue uh, on each side. Add it together to tell you the total wattage. Uh, okay, let's whack it again. Listen to the generator, okay? This is with 4,000 watts. Coming back to the little bank right here. All these are on, okay? That's gonna be about 10, 10.5, 11 kilowatts as soon as I click on the master load. I ain't playing here, man. We're going for... Woo! Listen, that thing works. Working good. Go over here, right here. All right, Hertz is a little low, but th that's kind of acceptable for, for what we got going here. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Can we let it run for about an hour and watch it blow up? Nah, let's shut it down in steps. Okay, we're shutting it down in steps. Two steps off. All right. Another two. Another two. Okay, we should be down to about 4K. 4,500 watts right now. 4,600, okay, not bad, not bad. All right. Again, this is on uh, gaseous fuel, propane. Like I said, we got three tanks here. She's running good. I think Bones agrees everything is good. <coughs> oh, wow. All right, so let's do this again. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the, the main switches on the uh, load bank right here. I'm just gonna turn on all the steps. I think I'm torturing this machine. I don't know if I should be doing this. But I don't care because when this thing is going to run, I want it to run good. Okay, again, we got about 4,000 watts going. Okay, I'm again, I'm looking at the light blue. Okay, so that's approximation right there. That right there is probably good enough to run a house when you're not running a heavy load. But when Johnny sees inside and I turn on the electric ovens and everything else, electric here, we got this. Listen. working hard. Yeah, she's working good. All right. Okay, I just shut off the, uh, about 10.5K. I think the test is working good. Once again, this is on propane. Three full tanks. We still got to get the gasoline part all straight now. Uh... One thing that I didn't mention in my previous video when I uh, did my first load test on this, I don't have the electric choke hooked up. In fact, it's totally missing. I have a member on the uh, small stack, War Wagon. He's sending me uh, a complete assembly. It's in the mail right now. Once I get that and get it on the machine, I'm going to test this out on gasoline. And it should probably even work better on gasoline, okay, once I tune up the carburetor. All right, so I think today's test was successful. I'm gonna be playing around with this this afternoon. In fact, I think I'm gonna go out to my other garage and get some more electric heaters and hook them up. I want this thing to push 18K. Not this. That. This guy right here. I want this thing to work hard. Like Bones. Well, Bones don't work. He's just lazy, he's just hanging around. All right, Johnny C from New Jersey. Take care, bye. Hey Smokesack fans, Johnny C here in New Jersey again. I was going to conclude the video, but I want to show you a couple things. Right now I'm in my uh, control room, lounging out, as you can see, after a hard day's work in the uh, Onan Bug Room. What I want to show you is this graph right here. This graph right here was recorded by Sense. 
Uh, I could have gotten this on that laptop that I had out in the uh, own and bug room. However, the laptop wasn't able to communicate over the internet, being that the uh, Wi-Fi was not strong enough in the laptop to receive and transmit. Nonetheless, the uh, sense module in the uh, green box on the wall had no problem whatsoever. So we got all the uh, recordings of today's test. All right, so what do we got here? Look at that. We peaked out at uh, 14,950 watts, 50 watts short of 15K. All right, no problem whatsoever. We'll get that on our next go around. So uh, let me just uh, narrow this down a little bit. As you can see, this thing is uh, pretty neat. Okay, let's uh, get the testing time all figured out here. Here we are. We started our test at 1.25 p.m. and we concluded our test at around 2.25. So we actually had about an hour worth of testing. What do we got here? All right, we initially started with a couple of uh, heaters hooked up to my uh, homemade load bank in the back of the uh, garage, as you saw. That gave us about just under 3,000 watts. Okay, I probably shut one of them off at this low right here. Turned it back on. We're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising. All right, I don't know what I actually did here, but we're close to 4,000 watts. Maybe I turned, oh, I might have turned down one of the heaters on to high. And this is not the commercial load bank. These are the uh, little portable electric heaters. All right, we got the uh, commercial uh, load bank up and going. We banged the JC with uh, 13,500 watts right here. And it behaved perfectly. That's the JC as well as the load bank. Uh, again, I'm running propane. It did not hunt or anything like that. Uh, it did strain, but that's normal. It performed perfectly. Okay, I shut off, uh, obviously, the... Uh, commercial load bank so we're down here again and we're running at about 4,000 watts and I'm banging it again with the uh, commercial load bank we did it again here and we did it again here again I wanted to test to see how the JC performs under heavy load and shocking it with a heavy load maybe that's not the right way of doing it but I want this thing to work if this thing is running my house on a power failure okay when the grid goes down and someone turns on an electric oven and someone else turns on something else and who knows what. I want to make sure that this JC runs and runs well. There's going to be no excuses for it to fail. And we're going to test it here. All right. And towards the end of the testing, I'm like just going nuts with the uh, switches on the uh, commercial load bank, as you saw. And, of course, now I'm shutting it down. And uh, right now we're pretty much down to an idle. I probably had one heater running right now on low and that's it and uh, everything was shut off okay so uh that's pretty much it this is good that i'm showing you right here okay on the video rather than just taking pictures uh this is quite neat i like how this thing runs okay on sense there's other features too as well i could uh, actually see the current l1 and l2 loads uh on the legs and uh well i can't do it now because obviously it's going to be zero because the uh, gen set is not running but there's quite a few things i could do i could also see this on my cell phone uh but it's kind of hard to see it on the cell phone while recording a video uh being it's out over on the internet if i was uh, running my generators during a, a grid outage and i was away i could actually monitor on my cell phone exactly how the gen set is running and what loads uh is being applied to the uh, generator so it's all pretty neat right here again this is sense scnse you can check it out on uh, on the internet uh, the way I got this all hooked up is not really the way that it should be ran okay however this is how I'm doing it with the generators it works out great well that's about it and uh, hopefully you got things wrapped up as far as uh, running gaseous fuel okay the uh, propane uh, I have work to do to get the uh, JC to run on gasoline. You know, the electric choke has to be uh, put together, but we'll get that done. And once, once we get that done, we'll do a load test running gasoline. The number should be higher, and uh, hopefully the results will be pretty much in line with this. No hunting, no problems. That's about it. All right, for sure, I am going now. Johnny C. from New Jersey. Take care. Bye. Well, smoke tech fans, I think we did a pretty good test with this JC, at least on uh, propane.